Hey everybody, hello and good morning, greetings. I think we are somewhere, I don't know, maybe near Chester, Pennsylvania. Anyway, we are loaded. Um, today is uh, April 5th. 2018 birthday All right local time here is 8 38 and uh, baby blue and I are on our way to Aberdeen Maryland which is 95 miles away our scheduled delivery date and time is tonight at 6 p.m. then our second and final delivery is in uh, oh gosh can't remember. Still in Maryland. Delivers at 11 p.m. The temperature here is 36 degrees. One of you wanted me to enlarge the picture in picture. Unfortunately, the next size for the picture in picture occupies half of the screen, so uh, no can do. We'll have to settle for the, this is a quarter uh, size. The next size up is a half. So you certainly don't want a half of a picture in picture that engulfs the whole, you know, half the screen. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. Alright, I am to deliver this load tonight uh, at 6, second delivery at 11. And then I am to deadhead to Mount Crawford, Virginia to pick up a load delivering to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. That delivers on Thursday. Wait. No, 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 no. No. After Maryland, I am to deadhead to uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. After Aberdeen, after this load, I am to deadhead to Moorfield, Virginia, and pick up a load of chicken delivering to Shano for Sunday. That's right, Sunday, and then picking up in De Pere, Wisconsin uh, Sunday afternoon and that load delivers to uh, Front Royal, Virginia for Tuesday at 8 a.m. Then I pick up a load for in Mount Crawford, Virginia, delivering to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And that load delivers, as I said, Thursday at 3 a.m. Then I got a ear doctor 
on Thursday at 8 or 9 a.m. So I'm going to be deadheading from Oconomowoc, Wisconsin to Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Get to my ear doctor. And then I am home uh, for the weekend. One of you asked, I should be running out of my 70s uh, hour clock. Yeah, I've run out of my 70 hours clock a couple of days ago or last week yet. I am now running on recaps. Recaps is, oh boy, that's a very complicated issue to tell someone. Basically, what you did eight days ago, if you drove eight hours last eight days ago, that's the available hours that you have for today. And if you drove two hours eight days ago, or five days ago, then that's all the hours that you have available today. And it's a lot more complicated than that. But I am not going to get into it because it gives me a headache trying to explain that. Government's greatest contribution to society to complicate things. You know, a driver should be able to do an 11 hour break every single day and giving him, you know, giving the driver 11 and 14 every day. Get rid of that 70 hours. Just as long as you can show a solid 10 hour break, 11 hour break, whatever you prefer. Who cares what you did eight days ago? Get, get rid of that recap. Of course not. Life would be too simple.
by the way, I got bad news. Uh, my insurance rejected the uh, the hearing aid. I don't know why. That's after. That's after they assured us that they were gonna pay for it. That just. Man, five thousand bucks. That's crazy. I don't know. And something so small cost so much. stuck in traffic here so, uh, hopefully this will disband here quick enough by the way I forgot to tell you I did enter all these uh, addresses that I'm headed for 1000 Old Philadelphia Road in Aberdeen. That's our first uh, delivery. And then the second delivery is, I don't know why, that's there in Hyattsville, Maryland. I think it's really close to one another. Oh, okay. So Aberdeen is by Baltimore. Second delivery is uh, just by Washington, D.C. I gotcha. Right there, north of Baltimore, our first delivery. By the way, I figured out uh, where the second delivery is. It's actually in Landover, Maryland.
white lane closed. People still keep coming. I guess that wasn't Chester, Pennsylvania after all then. Because we're still headed for Chester.
how many cars they can put in in one uh, train car like that. One miles. There we go. I'm gonna take a different route. I think I'm gonna take the uh, the bypass. I don't particularly like going through Wilmington. The traffic can get. So I think we're gonna take the bypass. But then again. I think the bypass. I like the uh, I like the Lakeshore Drive sort of thing. See, GPS wants us to go through uh, downtown Wilmington. We gotta go a different road. Four ninety five, that's it. I used to go through these roads every single week. Last, geez, four or five years.
that's because I used to pick up a load of bananas out of the uh, Port of Wilmington. Recalculating. that shoreline I was talking about. Although I doubt it, it's a lake. It's a river. Thank you, Mr. Four-Wheeler. Flash, flash, blink, blink. By the way, welcome to Delaware. Forgot to mention that.
Is it normal to be annoyed with potholes and rough roads? I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I get so annoyed with rough roads. And I hate it that, that I get annoyed by it. I used to have a dedicated uh, run between Port of Wilmington picking up a load of dual bananas and bringing it to Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Boy, that was a sweet, sweet deal. I would pick it up here on, I think it was Wednesday. Then, uh, no, 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 no. Pick it up on Thursday, I believe. There it is. There's the port right there. That's where all the bananas comes in. Anyway, I'd pick it up on Thursday, be home sometime uh, early Saturday. I'd go home and I would leave the, I would, they would allow me, I would deliver it to Piggly Wiggly in Sheboygan. And uh, they would allow me to uh, leave the truck at the dock with the door closed. And then all I had to do was show up Sunday morning open the doors back in the truck and then leave the truck there at the dock. Then I'd go home, they would unload the truck and uh, once they were done unloading, they would just put the bills inside the trailer. And then sometime later that afternoon, I would go back and uh, I would go and pick up the truck and the bills. By then they were already gone. Sweet, sweet deal that was. Approaching the uh, state of Maryland, I believe. Local time here is 1037. Welcome to Maryland, everyone. Back 
actually, you know what? This is still Delaware. We got three more miles to the border. <laughs> Kinda jumped the gun on that one. Still at mile marker three. Getting better, mile marker one. There we go. Maryland welcomes you. We're open for business. You know what, uh, there's a TA truck stop here. Since I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be at the uh, customer for a whole day. I better go in a TA and get me some lunch.
All right, later. Peace.